Hey everybody, how's it going? Haven't done one of these business quickies in a while. So I wanted to hop on and had a few minutes to spare. So give everyone a few minutes to hopefully get notified that I'm online. Um, yay, it looks like it's working. So in today's business quickie, what I want to talk about is my kind of unusual background for a CPA, right? So I'm a CPA. Uh, I did not study business at all as an undergrad. Um, I think I dropped an economics class <laughs> at one point. I think I maybe took a marketing class. Nothing at all related to accounting, taxes, not really business. Um, I actually have an engineering degree from MIT which is a very, very unusual, I know like one other accountant who went to MIT. <laughs> so it's a very kind of unusual path for someone who studied engineering like that. Um, now I specifically studied material science engineering and music, right? So a little left brain, right brain action going on. Uh, but what does engineering have to do with accounting? Well, there's a lot of math, 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 math. Right. And actually engineering math is way harder than anything we do in accounting math. Like maybe we multiply by a, a percentage once in a while, uh, have to do a ratio. It's really, you know, it's not uh, differential calculus. It's not quantum physics. It's and I actually did take those classes. It's nothing like that. It's not nearly that complicated. But the thing that is super, super useful for me having that engineering background is problem solving because a lot of times clients come to me and they have an unusual situation with something with their business, with something with their technology where they can't figure out how to make their books work, how to integrate other applications into their QuickBooks system. Um, or they're just like, Hey, this is my situation and I don't know what to do. Can you help me figure it out? Whether it's with, uh, how to treat something in accounting or how to resolve a tax situation, various things like that. So the problem solving skills that I obtained going to engineering school were, are super, super helpful for me as an accountant, as a CPA to provide really, really high quality, helpful problem solving skills to my clients. And they appreciate it. I know they do because <laughs> they tell me they, they love it. Um, it's actually also benefited me uh, in other places that I've worked when I have staff working for me that they've told me, uh, when you do those kind of like up reviews, they said they love working with me because I can break down the process step by step. So they know exactly what to do from start to finish to get a project done. So there's a lot of really great skills you learn uh, in engineering school, even if <laughs> it is really, really hard school to go through at the time. Uh, one other thing that's really helpful as uh, having that engineering background is that one of the verticals that I work in, right? One of my niche industries is technology startups. And I really love working with uh, other kind of tech people, other people who have that engineering, science, math background. Um, we really get each other, right? It's, I'm not confused by what they do. I understand their processes. I can help them get research and development tax credits because I get what they're doing. I understand the process and I can tell them how that process, those business processes and those business tools and what they do translates directly into tax credits. So uh, it's not the most normal route, you know, to go in engineering school and then decide to become an accountant. It did, had me in school for a, a bit longer. It made me a little bit strange uh, compared to some of my colleagues, but really, you know, it makes me stand out. It makes me just a different type of accountant than you normally find. And I think it makes me a better CPA as a result. So if you have a weird background for whatever industry you're in, just figure out how it helps you and take advantage of it. And we'll talk to you next time.